In the coming videos, I've tried to assume as little as possible about your experience as a developer. Specifically, this means you won't need any prior experience with Meteor, you won't need to have made a web application before, and you shouldn't need to consult any other sources along the way. You will, however, need a basic understanding of JavaScript and a basic understanding of databases. In terms of JavaScript, this means being familiar with variables and loops and conditionals and functions. And in terms of databases, this means being familiar with tables and rows and columns and primary keys. If you're a bit fuzzy on some of these topics though, keep watching anyway. We're going to be moving slow and steady, pretty much guaranteeing progress for just about anyone. And if you do get stuck at any point, it shouldn't take long to brush up on some of the details. In regards to the stuff that you will need to develop with Meteor, it is not a long list. Officially, Meteor is supported on Mac and Linux, but there is an unofficial version available for Windows, so any major operating system will be fine. You'll need a text editor of course, and I will be using Sublime Text 3, but we won't be using any power user features, so any text editor will do. Then, to both view and debug our Meteor applications, Google Chrome is going to really come in handy. It's quick and simple, and has some very useful development features that we're going to be using. And so once these basics are in order, you are good to go.